Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Our topic is about solving non-routine problems involving percentage using appropriate strategies and tools. Let us read and solve this problem. Reyes family has a monthly income of 15,850 pesos. They allotted 40% for food, 25% for education, 15% for water and electricity fare, 8% for transportation, 7% for miscellaneous expenses, and 5% for savings. How much is their monthly expenses? So, ang tinatanong ngayon dito or hinahanap natin ay yung kanilang monthly na ginagastos or yun nga, expenses. Kung ang kanilang monthly income is 15,850 pesos. Before we solve the problem, let us first define a non-routine problem. A non-routine problem is any complex problem that requires some degree of creativity or originality to solve. Non-routine problems typically do not have an immediately apparent strategy for solving them. Oftentimes, these problems can be solved in multiple ways. So, maraming solution ang pwede natin gamitin to solve a non-routine problem. So, no need naman na i-follow natin ang Polya's four-step method, pero pwede rin natin siyang isolve using uh, those steps. So, let's now proceed on solving the problem. So, the given sa problem ay yung ating monthly income which is 15,850 pesos. Then, ito yung mga expenses nila. 40% for food, 25% for education, 15% for water and electricity fare, 8% for transportation, 7% for miscellaneous, and we have 5% for savings. So, ito yung mga given sa ating problem. Okay, next is, we're going to find the monthly expenses of the Reyes family. So, let's determine that 15,850 is a uh, pesos is the base. And yung rate natin, yung mga given rate per expenses, we have 40% plus 25% plus 15% plus 8% plus 7%. So, kailangan natin i-add yung mga percentage per expenses nila para makuha natin yung rate ng kanya monthly expenses. So, we have to convert this rate into decimal form. So, yung 40% magiging 40 hundredths. So, paano natin ginawa? Minove lang natin yung decimal point two places to the left. So, yung 25% magiging 25 hundredths. Yung 15% magiging 15 hundredths. Yung 8% magiging 8 hundredths. And yung 7% ay magiging 7 hundredths. Bakit hindi natin in-include dito yung 5% na savings? Kasi savings yun, hindi siya expenses. Ang hinahanap lang naman is yung monthly expenses. Okay, so pag in natin yung mga values na yan, we will get the rate na 95 hundredths. Okay, next. So, since we have now the rate na 95 hundredths, ang gagawin natin is we will now apply the formula percentage is equals to rate times the base. So, substitute natin yung ating total expenses or yung rate, yung totality ng rate niya which is 95 hundredths multiplied by 15,850. Then, we will get 15,057 pesos and 50 centavos. So, ito yung ating answer. So, yung monthly expenses ng Reyes family is 15,057 pesos and 50 centavos. Let's try to solve another problem. For every purchase of rubber shoes for 700 pesos, Dan will receive a 5% discount. If Dan received 280 pesos as total discount, how many shoes did he buy in all? So, sa kada purchase daw ni Dan ng rubber shoes na nagkakahalaga ng 700 pesos, nabibigyan siya lagi ng 5% discount. 
So, kung ang na-receive na discount or total discount ni Dan ay 280 pesos, ilan lahat uh, na rubber shoes ang kanyang binili? So, let's find out. Let's now solve the problem. So, this will be our solution. I-identify muna natin yung mga given sa problem. We have 700 pesos. Ito yung amount or price ng rubber shoes. And 5% discount yung nakukuha niya sa every purchase niya ng 700 pesos na rubber shoes. And yung total discount na nare-receive niya, niya is 280 pesos. So, yung una natin gagawin is we're going to get the 5% of 700 pesos para alam natin magkano ba yung kanyang uh, discount. So, by multiplying or applying the formula, percentage is, is equal to rate times the base. So, ang rate natin is yung 5% converted to decimal form that will be 500 then multiplied by the base na 700. So, ang ating makukuhang percentage is 35 so, 35 pesos is the discount for every purchase of rubber shoes worth, worth 700 pesos. Okay, so nakuha na natin yung percentage value niya, which is 35 pesos. So, para naman makuha natin kung ilang sapatos yung kanyang binili, dahil ang nareceive niyang total discount ay 280 pesos, Ang gagawin natin is we will divide 280 by 35. So, yung 280 pesos, i-divide natin sa 35 pesos. So, ang answer natin dyan is 8. Kaya, ang, ang pinaka-final answer is the number of rubber shoes that Dan bought is 8. So, walong piraso yung biniling rubber shoes ni Dan. Let's solve another non-routine problem. Peter is asked to guess a number. Here's the clue. It is 75% of 40% of 600. So, what is now the number? Okay, so ito yung ating solution. Una natin kukunin dyan is yung 40% ng 600. Okay, so get the 40% of 600. Bago natin kukunin yung 75% na ang nakuha natin percentage doon sa 40% ng 600. Okay, so applying the formula, percentage is equal to rate times the base. Then we will substitute the given values to the formula. So that will become 40% times 600. Then change 40% into decimal form. Then proceed on multiplying the two factors. So we will get 240. So ito na ngayon yung 40% of 600, 240. Then, saka natin kunin ang 75% ng 240. Again, applying the formula, P is equals to R times P. Then, substitute the given values to the formula. Then, change 75% into decimal form. That will become 7500. Then, multiplied by 240. So, the answer now is 180. So, yung number na ginagas ni Peter is 180. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you so much.